what's going on there YouTube welcome back to Charles's movie room and I hope you've been enjoying all of my complete blu-ray collection videos um, we have done from numbers all the way through um, up to like F no actually all the way up to K so this is the video this will be K through N um, and so be sure to look at those if you haven't already um, there's three um, videos before this. Let's go ahead and get started. This will be the fourth video um, in the series. This will be K through N. Let's go ahead and get started here with Kill Bill Volume 1. I like this movie a lot. I always remember how this movie started when I first watched it um, with the big scene. Um, and I don't even know what to call it. Like a dojo training center. Um, she comes in and she just kicks out everyone's butt. Really enjoy this movie. I remember this movie a lot better than I remember. Um, we got a piece of plastic on it still. And I remember Kill Bill Volume 2. Uh, I don't remember a lot of this movie. I have seen it, um, but I don't remember. It's not as memorable as Volume 1 is, but definitely needed it for the Tarantino collection. Alrighty. And then here is King Kong, the Peter Jackson version that came out in 2005. Um, it comes with the theatrical and extended. Um, theatrical is three or three hours and eight minutes. Extended is thirty twenty minutes. That's a three hours and twenty minutes. As the extended, that's a very long movie. Um, but got this on the slipcover. Got this at a used Blu-ray store. Um, Next up, you'll see this, I think, in my last Blu-ray update video, The Kingman, The Secret Service. This is the Steelbook. I have not seen these movies. Um, also need to pick up the Steelbook for the Golden Circle at some point. <coughs> the King's Speech. Really enjoy this movie. I've watched this movie within the past six months. Um... Yeah, I really like it. It was up for a couple Oscars. Um, the year it was came out, which um, I think was in early in the yeah 2011. I thought it was either 2010 or 2011. Really like this movie. It's a great story um, about a speech impediment and finding a best friend and family. And yeah, check it out if you haven't seen it. It's directed by Tom. Hooper. Okay, next up is Kong Skull Island. Saw this movie in theaters. I enjoyed it um, in theaters a lot. So I picked this up on Black Friday last year. Um, it's a good story. I'm excited to see where they take King Kong um, as they're getting ready to make um, King Kong vs. Godzilla here um, soon. The next Godzilla movie is part of this series as well. So be, I'm excited to see where Godzilla goes. All right, and the next set of movies are a trilogy. Here's Kung Fu Panda, the first one. I like all of these movies a lot. I like all of the <coughs> actors that play the characters. The stories are great as well. Kung Fu Panda 2. And then Kung Fu Panda 3. Different artwork because I bought the other two when this came out on Blu-ray. Um, they're making a Kung Fu Panda movie on um, like Amazon Prime exclusively. I think. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, I like all those movies. I think it, you know, it ended fine. Um, I don't know why they need to continue to make more movies. I'm also just disappointed if it's on Amazon Prime. They're gonna release it on Blu-ray because I have the whole collection. I like to continue to have the collection of movies. Next up is my favorite movie of 2016, and that is La La Land. I um, saw so this movie in theaters. I've seen this a couple of times. I haven't watched it in a while. I need to sit down and watch it. The problem with what this is, it has a great Dolby Atmos um, track on it, um, but my Blu-ray player and TV don't really do very well with Dolby Atmos. And so when I upgrade TVs and Blu-ray players, I'm hoping that it'll... I can hear its true sense. Um, but yeah, I need to watch this again. I, I haven't watched this in a while, but that is La La Land. And then next up is Lady and the Tramp. 
the signature collection digi book. Here is the side, and then here are the two discs, and then here is um, the book inside. I haven't seen Lady and Train in a long time. I need to watch it again, of course. Um, we all know the iconic scene, which is, you know, on the cover. Disney made a lot of movies with two dogs, or the fox and the hound, or the aristocrats, with our cat. It's interesting um, to see all of those. And then this is Lady Bird, which of course was up for um, five Academy Award nominations this past year with Saoirse Ronan, direct, written and directed by Greta Gerwig. Um, I didn't mind this movie. I think I would need to watch it again to fully appreciate it. The first watching, uh, I wasn't too impressed, um, but I didn't hate it at the same time. Uh, when I got to watch it, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I watched that, but at the same time, it's not something that I want to put on and watch it over and over again. Um, and so I need to rewatch it and see if I get that effect. Um, I prefer other coming of age stories. Um, and so that's kind of where how I compare this movie to. But like I said, I think if I would go back and maybe rewatch it, um, as I move these out of the way, I think that I would probably like it maybe a little better. Alrighty, get ready for the next stack here. As they go everywhere, as you've probably heard that crash. So this is exciting times. Oh, well, I guess I've learned to make smaller stacks in the next video. Alrighty, well, let's get into this as before it crashes over again. First up is Larry Crown. Um, as we continue in the L, I like this movie a lot. It's about Tom Hanks' character who goes back to college, meets Julia Roberts, is one of his professors. It's about refining your life. Um, and education. I really like Larry Crown. It's a great movie. Next up is The Last House on the Left, unrated, the Wes Craven um, movie. This was a horror pack release. Um, it is, of course, the collector's edition. So, haven't watched as I've heard about it. I just haven't got around to watching it. Next up is the Lego Batman movie. I enjoy this movie. Um, I thought it was cute this first time I watched it. I have not watched it again. I picked this up on Black Friday um, last year, but I just have never sat down and watched it again. Um, I, I didn't have a chance to watch it in the theaters, but I love Batman. Um, I love I enjoy the Lego movies, um, and so that's, you know, I'm excited to be able to have this in the collection and be able to I need to revisit it at some point. The only Lego movie that I do not have is Lego Ninjago. I have not even watched that movie. Um, but yeah, there we go, the Lego Batman movie. Next up is the Lego movie. I like this a lot. I saw this movie in theaters. Um, very excited for the second one that's coming out here in, I think, January or February. Um... It'll be good. I can't wait to see where the story goes. Um, I also liked that it introduced um, like you get the same actor in Bat in Batman um, that you did in the Lego Batman movie, and um, Unicity has their own TV show now, which is interesting. So they've done a lot with the movie um, to make it more than um, just a movie, which is cool. I'm also excited, like I said, to. Um, see the sequel next up is lincoln i bought this at a used blu-ray store it's the four disc combo pack um i've not watched it yet uh, i just need to sit down and watch it um i know it's gonna be good i can't wait to watch it i just need to sit down and, and take some time and actually watch it and um, get into it a little bit all righty next up is the Lion King Digibook. This comes with a film strip. Here are the discs and then here is the storybook. Um, I still need to pick up The Lion King 1 and 2 that came out, or 2 and 3. Um, and this is getting a um, live action release very soon as well. 
All right, here is Logan. This is this is this is pretty tight fit, so we're gonna get it back out again. But it is a um, digi book as well, but it has a slip cover on it. Um, and it comes with the noir version as well. I like this movie. I think it's a good send off for two very important characters in the X Men universe. And I'm gonna leave it at that. You should watch it if you haven't yet. Alright, the Lord of the Rings, the theatrical versions. This is a simple three film collection. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of these movies, and so I think that, you know, just having the regular versions are fine. They're long enough, I don't need the extended versions. Um, I still, I don't know if I still have the DVDs or not. Um, the DVD had a lot more special features on them. Um, once I, Maybe sit down and finish the series. I might like them and upgrade them to something different. But for right now, these are fine. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of those movies. I fell asleep during many of them. Um, Love Actually. Um, great romantic comedy. Also a great movie around the holidays to watch. Um, many stories are being told throughout this movie. Um, but yeah, if you've not seen this, this is, you could call this the ultimate romantic comedy. When I first saw that, I'm like, I don't know about that, but you could actually call it that. Um, I firmly believe that. All right, the Magnificent Seven remake with Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt. Now, I did not realize that this was from the director of Training Days and um, The Equalizer, but it actually is. Um, I like this movie. I went to this movie. Um, on a limb in the theater afternoon showing, and really enjoyed it. I picked this up at a used Blu-ray store for uh, like seven dollars, I think. Mallrats. Um, excited to pick up Mallrats on Blu-ray. It also comes with the extended version, which I tried to watch one night, but the disc got stuck, so I might have to try to rewatch it. Um, but I'm excited to see the extended version of Mallrats. Manchester by the Sea. Um, really enjoy this movie a lot from 2016. Um, it's an Amazon Studios movie. This is a very sad, very um, hard movie to watch, but it's got a lot of great storytelling. It's a great script. Um, really, really recommend you watching this movie. It was up for had two Academy Award wins with Best Actor and Best Original Screenplay. Um, it's on Amazon Prime as well if you don't want to pick up the Blu-ray. I highly recommend you watching this movie. Um, it gets me every time. I've seen this like three or four times already on Blu-ray. Next up is Man of Steel. Um, this is, of course, kick off the DCEU. Um, I remember watching this movie. When somebody came out, they like, like a you go into Walmart, you buy this exclusive ticket, you get into this exclusive first. You see the movie first. It's kind of an exclusive deal. My theater actually did it. Um, so I went and got the ticket and I saw this on a Thursday night. That was back in the day before every, every, now, right, now every movie comes out on Thursday night. That was before, you know, that was kind of the culture. I really enjoyed this movie. I think Henry Cavill is a great Superman. Um, this is one of the movies that I think works in the universe. Um, so, yeah, I would encourage you to check it out if you like Superman, Man of Steel. All right, here are the all three Matrix movies. I don't really have much to say about them. Um, <coughs> I couldn't tell you the last time I watched any of these. I mean, I have seen them all. These aren't movies that I really go to to watch. It's just something I have in the collection in case I do want to watch them at some point. Um, they also are all getting 4K releases, um, but I'm have very happy with Blu-ray. Mega Mind. I have not watched Mega Mind in a very long time, um, but I enjoy this movie a lot. I think that um, Will Ferrell um, does a great job in the character, um, and, they, and they have some other great voices like Brad Pitt and Jonah Hill and David Cross is the minion. Um, really like this movie. Um, nice little DreamWorks animation movie. Mike and Dave need wedding dates. Saw this movie over the summertime. I think I rented it. Um, and I thought it was funny. I was told to watch this movie. And it was one of the funniest movies of 2016. So like I said, I rented it on Redbox. I loved it. And when this went on sale on Amazon, I had to pick it up. 
because it is really, really funny. Um, the best comedy of the year. Um, definitely can say that. I, I, this is a funny movie. You should pick it up. Um, Zac Efron and um, Adam D Devine or Devine do a great job together as portraying brothers. Minions movie. This was an interesting watch. Um, you know, go back and see where the Minions come from. Um, and how they got to be, you know, in the Despicable Me movies. Um, I thought it was a cute little movie. I've not, you know, sat down and... I haven't sat down and watched it in a while, but I definitely think that um, it was cool to see the origin story of the Minions. Um, because that's really where everyone... That's one of the things that everyone loves about the Despicable Me movies. And so it's cool to go back and see, you know, where they come from. Next up is... The Miracle on 34th Street, the original from um, 1947. This is the disc. It's a little slide cardboard thing. It's the 70th anniversary edition. Great Christmas movie if you've not seen it. There's also a remake, but I don't own the remake at this time. Moana. I have not seen Moana. I think it came out in 2015. Um... Heard a lot of good things about it, but I just have not sat down and watched it. I think there's up in a big group of Disney movies, so excited to watch this at some point. Model Hunter is a horror pack exclusive movie. Like it's another movie that I should probably just get rid of. It was made in 2016, um, or developed in 2016, um, I guess Blu ray was created. But, um, I don't know. I'll keep it for now, and we'll see if I ever watch it. And then the last one of this deck is Moonlight, won the best picture. Um, really like this movie. I've seen it. I rented it, watched it once, and then went ahead and picked it up on Blu ray. I've been actually meaning it's been on a pile, it's been on my mind to watch it again. Um, for a while now, I need to actually sit down and do that again, um, especially with um, the director having their second movie come out um, here in the next couple of months. I need to sit down and rewatch it. But no, I definitely enjoyed um, Moonlight. All right, so that is that stack done, and then let's go ahead and get up the final stack here. Alrighty, next up is Mrs. Doubtfire, Robin Williams, Sally Field. I haven't seen this movie in a very, very long time. Probably the last time I saw this movie was on TV or maybe a VHS copy of it. Um, it's a simple blur. I picked it up on um, the um, Best Buy dump bin. Alright, here's another Universal Monster, Alex Ross Steelbook. This one's The Mummy. Okay, next ones are some Muffin movies. I'm trying to collect all the Muffin movies um, on Blu-ray. This one is a two-pack adventure of Muppet Treasure Island and the Great Muppet Caper. I'm sure I saw those movies as a kid, um, but I've not seen them in recent times. Um, this came out, I got, this was on sale from, um, Disney Movie Club, and so I went ahead and picked it up when I had a sale. Um, like I said, I'm trying to collect all of the Muppet movies. Um, and then this is The Muppets, the remake. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Jason Segel, um, Amy Adams did well. Even the bad guy, um, did well, I thought. Um, I liked, you know, Walter... Um, in the movie as well. Um, I thought he did a good job. And, you know, those two together, Walter and um, Jason Siegel's character. Um, yeah, I really like this movie. Um, got this. Um, I think I got this either in a sale or I picked it up um, as a movie, Disney movie reward. I don't remember which. But definitely um, enjoy this movie. Can't wait to check it out again. Next up is Muppets Most Wanted. I definitely picked this up on the Disney Movie Rewards as a reward. Have not watched this movie. 
I was a little disappointed that the only character that came over from the Muppets, um, and this is supposed to be a sequel, was Walter. So I'm a bit disappointed in that. Um, I definitely want to sit down and watch it at some point, but I was definitely disappointed that the same actors were not allowed to come over into the sequel. All right, Murder on the Orient Express. Um, saw this movie in theaters in the fall um, last year. Really enjoyed the movie. Has great cinematography. Lots of great actors. Great mystery. I didn't even know where um, the movie was going. The catch at the end I did not see coming at all. Um, really, really good. Um, I can't wait. I hope you know. There's talks about making more Agatha Christie movies. Um, in the series, I hope they do it because I really enjoyed um, this movie and the style of this movie. So I hope they can continue to do that um, because I would definitely enjoy um, checking those movies out. Next up is Neighbors. Um, funny movie with Seth Rogen and Zac Efron. They do a great job playing off of each other. Um, the Wife, which is played by Rose Byrne, does a great job as well. Um, it's basically about turning the movie the next door to a brand new married couple with a baby um, and, the, and trying to destroy the fraternity. Um, very funny movie. Um, a good one just to pop on and just watch and just kind of relax and watch a movie. You don't have to really think about anything. And that's the same with Neighbors 2. Neighbors 2 is a very, I think, successful, funny follow-up to Neighbors. When you add a sorority to the mix, with Chloe Grace Moretz, and then you have Zac Efron and Seth Rogen teaming up throughout the part of the movie, and I just think it's really funny. It's a great follow-up. I mean, it's a similar storyline. Sorority moves in next door. They have to shut it down, um, but in a, in a different way as well, and so I, it's a really funny sequel to the movie. All righty. The Nice Guys, Private Dicks. I have not watched this movie, but it's a recommendation from a friend of mine. So I'm hoping soon we can pop it in and watch it um, as well. Because I've heard lots of great things about it. Here is The Night at the Museum Collection. Um, I have seen the first two for sure. Night at the Museum and the Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian. I don't know if I've seen Secret of the Tomb or not, um, but I definitely enjoyed Night at the Museum. Um, the first one, I remember liking Battle of the Smithsonian, um, but definitely something you can sit down and have a movie marathon over. I'm glad to have them all on Blu-ray as I updated a couple DVDs that I had. Another Seth Rogen movie, The Night Before. This also has Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Anthony Mackie in it. Um, this is basically about a group of friends that every Christmas Eve they go out and party, and I think this is the last one um, that's going to happen. Um, and so they're trying to make it as memorable as, as possible. Um, and they're trying to find the holy grail of Christmas parties. It's a funny movie. It's, a, it's about friendship and growing up, and really enjoy it. Um, something I watch every year around Christmas time. And then finally, this is Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, a sing-along edition. Um, I have never watched this movie, but when it was re-released um, a couple weeks ago, I decided to pick it up, and I can't wait to check it out um, sooner rather than later. So there you go. That is um, K through um, N. So... Coming up next, we have O through R, I believe, or up, O, like, O up to, like, S. And so check out that. Also, be sure to check out all the other videos. Hope you're enjoying these collection videos. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.